From the time she was a little girl, Anne John knew she was going to be an artist. She grew up near Seattle in a home her parents had populated with fine art. My parents were art collectors from the get-go, from the beginning of their marriage. So we were always surrounded by what I would consider very sophisticated art. The first time I said that I was an artist was when I was seven years old and I was in first grade. I had done these beautiful bunnies and everybody couldn't stop talking about the bunny, so I decided to take the bunny drawing around to show the rest of the school. So I took my bunny drawing and went from class to class and walked in front of each classroom and held the bunny, bunny picture up in front for everyone to see. Now in her early 60s, Anne's art has truly come of age. Her refined use of color, innovative narrative style, and delicate portrayal of the human form have impressed art lovers and art critics alike. She has insights that she brings to her work that bring clarity to whatever she puts her mind to. Fred Opegard first met Ann John when he was the arts critic for the Columbian newspaper. Ann, through the years that I've known her, has proven to be somebody who is really uh, one of those rare artists that is truly in the field to express herself, not to make a lot of money or, um, may, or gain fame. I think she really has in her heart the, um, the welfare of the community and the community of artists in mind when she's doing her um, projects. Anne regularly donates her time and her paintings to help raise money for worthy causes. I just think that, especially right now, things don't happen if people don't give. It just makes a difference. It makes a big difference. Of course, my favorite charitable event would be supporting the arts themselves, which usually comes in last place. but. Um, obviously, I love animals, so the Humane Society is one of my favorites. Her City of Portraits series helped raise thousands of dollars for charities in Vancouver. Brett Opegard sat for one of the portraits. It explores the demise of the daily newspaper. It's really like a, a time capsule for me in the sense that, uh, you know, here's this person using a notepad with a pencil. I mean, I, uh, I rarely do that anymore and only a few years have passed. It's interesting, it's, it's, you know, it's a beautiful painting, but it's also an interesting painting in terms of the things she added that weren't in the room, like the crows and the scarf, uh, the colors, those were all choices she made to, to liven the piece up. This portrait from the series has come to symbolize Southwest Washington Medical Center's fight against breast cancer. It features Anne's daughter-in-law, Kyra, and Connie Carney. Both are breast cancer survivors. Connie purchased the painting, and it now hangs prominently in Southwest's new Carney Breast Center. I think Anne John is a very gifted artist and very involved in the community and supportive of the community. I think we're lucky to have her as part of Pink Power. Anne's productivity as an artist is amazing. She produces between 30 to 40 paintings a year. I would say that I am somehow involved in my art every day. If I'm not painting, I'm working on the website or uh, looking up jury shows to submit to or discussing things with my galleries. Or, uh, pretty much it's an everyday thing. Most of her recent paintings deal with the environment. My recent work is basically collage work and all of the canvases, the collage work on the canvas pertains to the subject matter at hand. And so if it's a forest scene, usually those articles are dealing with forest management or trees or 
uh, wildlife that is affected by the loss of, of trees. This painting is aptly named Tree Dwellers. It's the first painting Anne has ever done for herself. It includes all six of her grandchildren. She was inspired to paint it after watching them climb the trees in her backyard. For Anne John, art and family have always blended as gracefully as the colors on her palette. They are an integral part of my art world. I am just so lucky to um, have fallen into this situation that maybe I didn't plan for. And I don't think my life would have the quality that it has without this incredible family that I have. And we may never have been able to experience the fabulous art of Anne John.